I don't know the last time I've seen a one card hold up the, the game so well. It's amazing. Hello there, I'm Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is Commander Melee, where we play high power EDH while trying to keep the jank alive. This is season two, episode five, and we're all playing Dominaria United Commanders. This was filmed via spell table because some of us had the virus going around, but we still wanted to get out some content. Uh, so it's not in person, but I think it is still a great game. Uh, we even recorded all the audio separately, so love for your feedback on that too. Hopefully you've heard about the Magic Summit coming November 11th to the 13th here in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's going to be an amazing Magic Con because it's Brothers War pre-release and the winner gets a Black Lotus. We have all the top creators and icons coming, amazing artists, and so much more. Check out your favorite creator socials for a discount code and then jump over to mtgsummit.com and get your tickets now. Alright, let's check out our players and our commanders for our game today. Hey everybody, I'm John. I am playing Braids, a Risen Nightmare, because Jeff said that I had to. So I called up my brother, Jason, who also plays with us and is the Mono Black Master. And so luckily I get to play with a bunch of his sweet foil uh, Mono Black cards. The goal of the deck is to play Braids early and often and uh, assume that I'm just gonna get to draw three cards uh, extra every turn. I don't know how I'm gonna win, I'm just assuming that I'll figure it out. All right, everyone, this is Carlos, and I am playing Joda the Unifier. Um, Joda is, I'll just read him. He has a little bit going on. Legendary creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. The goal of the deck is to get a lot of legendary creatures out and smash face with Joda being sort of an anthem. And then also Joda can help me get more legendaries out by whenever I cast a legendary, you effectively cascade in a way for other legendaries. So yeah, it's interesting. I think a lot of the deck ends up being sort of just like a good stuff Kenrith Sissé deck, you know, sort of similar similar decks like that, but um, I tried to lean into the combat side of things a little bit more. So I took out all the combos that I originally had. And yeah, we'll see if uh, Smashing Face is good enough for this pot. All right, hi everyone, Julian here. I'm playing Dihada, Binder of Wills. This is a really cool Mardu Planeswalker that kind of incentivizes you to play a bunch of legendaries to make them indestructible and beat face. And so that's one of the avenues to win, but I've actually built this deck more around the minus three ability where you get to bin the top four cards of your library and you can choose to keep any of the legendaries there, but I'm not usually going to. I'm usually just going to take the four treasures for free. And this is uh, kind, of, kind of just a weird like reanimator deck. I do have some win cons like Animate Dead with the Adrian guy as well as having like a doomsday package and stuff like that. Overall, it's just kind of an interesting deck that I haven't had the chance to kind of play before, so we'll see how it goes. My name is Jeff O. I am playing Shauna, Purifying Blade. There's a bunch of different ways you could take this deck. You could probably do like a Bant Stacks deck or a few other things. I really was just like, I want to do something really fun, and I wanted to play my all-time favorite card in Magic, so I'm playing a Bant Voltron deck with her to hopefully, you know, put some equipment and auras on her, swing, gain a lot of life, and, you know, try and win the game that way. But the most important part for me was I got to play, like I said, my favorite card which is ancestral mask so it's in the deck and uh hopefully i can get a number of enchantments out there and you guys can play some enchantments and and i can have like a 30 30 you know commander no all right I like that. beautiful <laughs> i will play and crack a bloodstain mire for uh swamp i'm not a bad person uh dark ritual Ooh. cast braids wow the beginning of my end step i may sacrifice a permanent artifact creature enchantment land or planeswalker if i do each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it uh if you don't you lose two life and a draw card i'm also going to use my mox amber and cast an entomb so archon of cruelty is uh, going in the graveyard and then at the end of my turn i will sacrifice mox amber all of you will uh, lose two life and i'll draw three cards pass the turn <laughs> Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Flooded Strand and pass the turn. I will draw for turn. I am going to play a Polluted Delta. Sack it. Grab a Shrubland, I think. I'll go ahead and Flood Strand as well at the same time. I'm going to tap one and play Hope of Giraper, and I will pass the turn. I will draw. Yeah, I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. 
I'm gonna tap and crack that and go get a Temple Garden into play untapped. I ended up getting a Zagoth Triome. Tap the Temple Garden for one and play out an Esper Sentinel. Just a, a turn too late. Yeah, it was a turn too late, but it's fine. Go. Draw for I'm going to attack Jeff for three. three. I will play a Jewel Lotus. Go to my instep, sack Jewel Lotus. You can either sack an artifact on, on. or take two damage and I draw a card. Uh, no, I, I, I'm i paying one. Sorry. Well, paying you didn't one. get any lands through all those cards, huh? <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> Silver lighting for us. So I get a card from Carlos. Julian, do I get a card? You both can sack your artifacts. Come on. Even uh, on yeah, no, no lands. I, I, yeah, yeah, I think I will. All right, Jeff, citizen. do I get a card? Get a card. Uh, Sounds good. And now I have to discard a hand size. See? See? That's a win. <laughs> I'll throw this here, Shouldred, in the graveyard. Go ahead, Carlos. Jeff, draw. All right, I will play a Plaza of Heroes, and I'll play a Bloom Tender. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. I will play a Wooded Foothills, and I will pass the turn. Untap. I will draw. I'm going to play the Misty Rainforest. I'm going to sack the Misty Rainforest. I'm going to go get a Breeding Pool. I'm going to tap the Breeding Pool for a green. Play a Wild Growth on my Temple Garden. Tap my Temple Garden for a green and whatever else and i'll play a fertile ground onto my breeding pool that is my turn go untap draw i will play a volrath stronghold we are going to cast a jet medallion i cannot pay for the one i get a draw card julian take three all right and go to my instep i'm gonna sack a jet medallion um i am not sacking any zero artifacts okay. that i have so draw for carlos draw for julian jeff draw so I am going to discard a Crypt Ghast and Archfiend of Despair. Okay, untap. Draw a card. While you're thinking, I'm going to sack this and grab a Blood Crypt. Tapped. I'm going to play a Mountain. I think what I do is use White with Plaza of Heroes. And we add one man of any color, spend this only to cast a legendary spell. I'll pay three for Timna, and then I'll play three and... But uh, my own fertile ground on this mountain. You're going to pay for Esper Sentinel, right? Now I'll pay for Esper Sentinel. Totally meant to do that the whole time. Pass the turn. All right. Unsap. Upkeep. Draw. Play Hall of Heliod's Generosity. I tap out for Alicia, who smiles at death. And I will pass the turn. Um, tap. I will draw. Tap uh, for four and uh, play my commander. Are you paying the one? Yeah, three. I'll have an extra one. It's fine. Go. Let's untap and draw. Got a snow-covered swamp. Let's go for a prismatic lens. Are you going to pay one for that? Son of a... No. Let's cast a Feed the Swarm on Shauna. Going to cast a Phyrexian Walker. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, and, and I'm going to attack Carlos. Take three. Uh, in step. Goodbye, Phyrexian Walker. So wait, Carlos. we have to sack if we can, or we can choose to No, still. you can choose, and it's anything that shares a type. So you can sack artifact uh, an or artifact a or a creature. I cannot afford to, so I will lose two life. Draw for I Carlos. I will lose two life. Draw for Julian. I'll sacrifice it now. I got two draws off of it, at least. <laughs> Go ahead, Carlos. Draw for turn. I'll pay a green and a blue and a floating red for a Kinnon. Tapping Bloom Tender for two green, a white, a black, and a blue. Blue, green, and one other for Edric. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to help you guys uh, draw into some things, okay? I'll play Swiffa Boots. Pay one to equip to Kinnon. And then go to combat. To add John, to add Jeff. If that's good, I will draw two, and then I will gain two, and then lose two, and draw two on my second main. I'll get a Forbidden Orchard. I will then play Ignoble Hierarch, giving Jeff a 1-1. One, one. That's all. I'm done. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play a Silent Clearing. So, Dockside? Okay, five treasures. I am immediately going to sack them all. I'm going to play a creature that I've wanted to play for a long time. Losing a life from oh, uh, no. Silent Clearing. I'm going to cast Caravec the Merciless. <laughs> oh, mother. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, when another opponent casts a spell, he deals damage equal to that spell's converted mana cost to any target. We can wrap now. I'm okay with it. I, I, I'm wondering if I want to draw a card here. I probably do, actually. So, I'm going to send Alesha at John for three. Edric will trigger and I will draw a card. I will pass the turn. I will untap. 
draw. Just gonna play this forest. Um, before I make my own spirit a target for anything, I'm gonna go to attacks and uh, go to, to attack John. Take one. I'm my gonna, lead I is dwindling. Draw a card. I'm gonna add a white from the fertile ground that I'm not gonna use yet, by the way, though, but I'm gonna tap this down for four, use three of it for gifts of paradise. Care effect trigger? <clears throat> three. You don't have to, but I feel like Ill Braids I, I think right now, because you, you're saying you think John's not gonna cast even a one CMC card his whole turn, or that Jeff's not gonna cast anything else. Oh, oh, I got you, don't worry. T take care of braids. I got you. I, I will shoot braids. All right, I'm going to tap this down for two blue. They had a white floating. I'm going to play blind obedience first. That's two. Okay, yeah, now I will shoot the blue temper. Uh, no, shoot shoot Timna. Why Why, why am I shooting Timna? You'll see. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> uh, I will shoot the Timna then. And then with my last blue remaining, I will play a, a wizard class for one. Man, I can't believe you didn't shoot ignoble hierarch instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my turn? Yep. Untap. Draw. Let's go with the Mana Confluence. I'm going to cast a Soul Ring. I am going to cast a Persist. All right. I'm going to deal two to your face, John. Yeah, so I'll get Archon, and I think I'm going to hit Julian now on the Enters the Battlefield. I mean, I'm going to sack my Dockside. And you also discard a card and lose three life. I will discard a Talisman of Conviction. And I'll gain three and draw. Uh, and then I will play Gisa, Glorious Resurrector, and I'll take one off of Mana Confluence. Yeah, yeah, I'll just shoot you for four, John. All right, 26. Yeah, go ahead. Untap, draw a card. Jeff, I'll take you for two. Julian, I'll take you with Edric for two. I'll, I'll take the two, I guess. I'll draw two. All these things are just shoot shootable. I'll pass the turn. I will untap, upkeep, draw. Well, I'll play a Bloodstained Mire. Sack the Blood Saint Meyer for one, and I'm going to cast Dehada. Forgot you even had a commander with your Karavik out there. <laughs> I'm gonna plus two and give um, target legendary creature Karavik village vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible until my next turn. I'll send Karavik at Carlos. I'll swing Alesha at John so I can draw a card. You can draw an extra card if you attack, not me. You know, actually, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna actually send Karavik at John. Uh, Alicia at Jeff. And I will right. gain five, and I will draw two cards. And I think that is my turn. Untap here. Think about my life decisions a little bit. I'm going to take my spirit and swing at John so I can draw a card. We're going to tap for two blue and a green, and I'll float a white. And I'm going to level up my wizard class that I did draw land for the turn so I can play my land for turn now. I have a white floating. I'll use these two as well. I'm going to play a sword of the animus and extort it. So you all lose one and I gain three, but that also gives uh, Julian two damage to throw at someone and gain two life. I can't shoot anything because John's just going to get it. <laughs> I needed there to be enough for me to kill that Gisa for me to kill anything. So in this case, I'll, I guess I'll just shoot John in the face for two. All right. The player removal battle is on, <laughs> Julian. We'll gain two. My turn? Yeah, you're good to go. Untap. Draw. Play Snow Covered Swamp. Let's start things off by going to combat. I'm going to attack Julian. And then I guess, so Archon trigger on the stack? Okay, sacrifice as you will. I am definitely sacrificing my Alesha, who uh, sacrificed to exile, right? Uh, yes, goes to exile. And then you discard and lose three life, and I gain three life and draw a card. So I'll discard this Arid Mesa. And then let's go with a Ophenomancer. I'll put the three on the Archon. Well, let's see what you do. When I cast this, Shield Sphere! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and pass to Carlos. End of turn, I'll cast a 5 CMC. Uh, Archangel Avison. Give you another spirit, Jeff. Gave you a Geese to kill. Can't be sad yeah. if you don't kill it. Yeah, yeah get that Geese out of here. Carlos is upkeep. I will get a tapped snake with death touch. Draw a card. We'll send two two twos at John and a 4-4 four, four at Julian's face. Flying. I will take four. Same Z's. I'll draw three. I'm gonna use a red and a green probably. We'll put this on Avison. She can't be shot. We'll give you another spirit, Jeff. I have a mana floating plus three others for Omnath. Yeah, I think at this point I'm gonna shoot the Edric. I'll draw a card from Omnath. I'm gonna play Verdant Catacombs as my land return. I'll gain four life. And then I'll sack it. Lose a life. Go get 
another land and for mana one of everything but black i'll use one of them to put swift foot boots on omnath i guess i'll cycle zyatora's proving grounds with the mana draw card i'll then go to my end step and discard birds of paradise and deathrite shaman and it's your turn so i'm going to untap upkeep Angel switches and does three damage to each creature and each of my opponents. Bye, Snake. Hope you find your dad. All right, I will get my draw. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to plus Dihada targeting uh, Karavak. Boo! Boo! John, I won't swing at you with my Karavak if you don't come at me with that Archon again. Uh, yeah, don't don't burn me either, and we got a deal. Okay, yeah, well, well, well I mean, at, at that point... Nothing of yours has to come at me either. Here's another deal that I'm going to bring Jeff into. Jeff, you and I don't cast anything, and John probably too, and make him sack his creature or Planeswalker. I mean, I'm good with that too. Basically, we all do nothing until those two are off the board <laughs> and make Julian have to kill us by himself. You know, I'm actually good with that. I have a. Because the other option for us <laughs> is he just snipes us all off slowly and uh we're all dead but you have the only option of getting rid of caravet currently john before i go to combat this i'm, I'm gonna cast a Lurus. julian i think you should attack carlos for sedition uh his crit guy will die <laughs> no but, yeah kidding. that's I'm that's kidding. the I'm best kidding. play for all of us he can only deal five damage a turn by attacking after next turn we can all block him i'll give you a one one to block jeff and then once caravet's dead then our our pact is off you know all right well then uh we are coming at john for five wait hold on all right, I'll take five. I'm at ten. You gain five? Uh, yeah, yeah, I gained five. I'll play a Takanuma. Pass the turn. I will untap. I'm gonna draw. Gonna level up to level three here on uh, my wizard class. So, go, John. Jeff, at the end of your turn, I will use Volrath Stronghold. I will put Shouldered. Draw Shouldered. Going to combat. Archon is going to attack Dihada. And then Julian, you do the thing. So you I sack, will... discard, lose three. I draw. Before you go to combat, I think I have to do this now. I'm gonna I'm gonna swords your uh, your archon. Well, that plan is good. <laughs> All right. Well, I will gain. Yeah, you gain you gain life though. Life. You gain five life. New plan. My name is Shouldered. Yeah, seven damage to uh, Avison. My turn. Yeah. I draw a card. All right, Julian. I have to make a deal with the devil. Uh, oh, oh okay. no! Oh. I don't know what to do against Sheldred now. I'll give you a creature to sack if you don't shoot my creatures. If you're playing two, three CMC creatures, I can just kill Sheldred. I don't have two, three. I have a three and a two and a two. and a f I have a four and a two. How about this? If I play both of those, then you can't shoot either of these creatures. I will trade two random creatures for killing that Sheldred. That sounds fair. Can you just, like, wait, like, one turn is all I'm going to ask? Sure. I'll do I, that for I you, think, Jeff. I think we can get to a better spot than where we're at, what I'm concerned about. I'm going to play Eskia. It's three mana creature. Uh, it's on the stack. I don't know the last time I've seen a one card hold up the, the game so well. It's amazing. I'm going to send three at John in the face. All right. I'm going to then equip uh, Eskia and play uh, the reality chip. So two more damage. And that's my turn. End of your turn, I'm going to play Nature's Claim and uh, destroy the Hope of Gearper. Oh, good job, Jeff. I'll deal with one to Jeff. Untap. I am going to sacrifice Lurus. I will draw. Play a Swamp. I am going to uptick Zihada, targeting Karavek. I am going to go to combat. Oh, Carlos, oh I, prob you I probably Carlos. gave you a spirit, but it's tapped, yeah. Jeff. Oh, no, it's not. It's not tapped. I probably would have given it to John then, so that I'm not the only <gasps> option. Okay, well, mine's mine's super tapped. I'm actually going to send Karavek at Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I'm going to cast my own shield, Rude. We can't abide this. this game over. End this game. I don't even care now. <laughs> I will pass the turn. I'm going to draw a card and see if there's a way out of this game. No, that's not a way out of this game. I think if you right-click, you can press concede match. It doesn't work in EDH. I tap for a green and a white. I'm going to play Utopia Sprawl onto this forest here and extort it. So you all lose one and I gain three. And uh, Julian, you get to deal one damage. I'm going to destroy that spirit. No! I'm going to play my commander for five. 
Start but, it. But I still only get to deal three because right. it's the CMC yes. of yeah, it's CM3 is cast. Okay. I'm gonna shoot John for three. At my end step, I'm gonna pay one and draw a card, and I get to put a counter on my commander. It's a four four. Go, John. Try and stay alive. <laughs> All right. So upkeep. I think I need to just get Archfiend. Draw a card. So I'll go to combat, attack Tejada. She's hit for six. I am going to cast my commander. I'm going to deal three to your face. I will stack shouldered, and everyone either sacrifices a creature. It's going to miss the double off of Archfiend, though. So, Carlos, do I draw? I'll lose two, yeah. Yeah, I'll lose two. Draw. That's what I got. All right, untap, upkeep. My reality chip. Yeah, wooded foothills. Lose a life. Five mana, four. Jota the Unifier. All right, sorry, John. Ping you for five. Yep, I'm super dead. It's too late to take this back now, but he shouldn't have killed John. If you would have shot Shauna for five. Oh no, just shoot us. That that Archfiend of Despair was just gonna wreck us, by the way. Because if he's dealing five damage to yourself or myself, that would have ended up being 10 damage actually at the end of the turn. Oh, oh I didn't yeah, know that. Right. Yeah, yeah, he controls that. Ah, uh, yeah, I completely missed that. All right, I'm going to then cast Goro Goro Disciple of Ryusei. Jeff, you get a 1-1. One, one. Well, in that case, I'm actually going to shoot the spirit. Here we go, Cascady into one, uh, maybe a Ragavan. Rado's two. Oh, Path to Exile. Cyclonic Rift, D-Spark, Maelstrom Wander. There's Julian's favorite card, Lord Wind Grace. Jensen. There's Yoshimaru, little pup boy. Okay, yeah, I'll deal one to Jeff's face, I guess. Could put this on somebody else. Do I put it on Joda? Yeah. I'll pass turn. Untap, upkeep. I will bring back Lurus. I will draw. I'm going to uptick Dihada. Give Shieldred Vigilance, Lifelink, Indestructible. And I'm going to come at you for six, Carlos. Cannot block. I will use Luris to cast a Hope of Giraper that comes in tapped. I will cast a Smothering Tides, and I will pass turn. I will untap. I will go to upkeep and uh, sacrifice my lone creature. Play a Plains, two, four, seven. Replay my commander, make start one. Yeah, I mean, at, at Carlos's face. And so I'll gain two life, and then I'll go to my end step, and I'll pay one, and I will draw a card, and put a plus one cluster counter. You can have another treasure, by the way. My turn. Yeah, I found an answer, but it came too late. Go. Sorry, Yoshimaru. Faithful, faithful boy. All right, draw for turn. Smothering Tithe. I will not pay, and I will curse this deck's lack of mana. I'm going to play Raga Draga. Uh, four damage at your face. So, the cool thing about it is Eskia gives all my legendaries mana abilities. So they all get plus two, plus two from Draga Draga. And when I attack with them, I untap them. Then I... Jota? Blackblade Reforged. So that's six damage. So you're at ten. I will move Sofa Boots to Jota. Instead of moving that, we'll just put uh, Blackblade on it just to make it seem scary. Um, and Jeff, you get a 1-1. One, one. And that's my turn. Untap the Shieldred. I mean, my only target is Dockside. Three. Seven. <laughs> and then I will draw for turn. Tap a black and cast Vampiric Tutor. Then we are going to minus Dihada, minus three. Put the top four cards of my library into my graveyard. I went for a Mayhem Devil. I can choose to keep the Toshiro. And actually, I may do that because I have enough mana. So these three are going to go to the bin. I'll get three more treasures that will enter tapped. I am going to cast Umburial Rites, bringing back Mayhem Devil. I am going to go to combat. I'm going to swing Shieldred at Carlos, and I'm going to swing Hope of Giraper at Jeff. If you swing both at me and sack three treasures, then I'm dead. I'm going to sacrifice this on Jeff and kill you still. You take six damage, Jeff takes one. I'm going to sacrifice Hope of Giraper so that Jeff cannot cast non-creature spells until my next turn. Take uh, deal one more. One to you, Carlos, and then I'll sack these three, cast this Toshiro, I guess, um, and ping you for the rest, Carlos. I will pass the turn. I will untap... Uh, oh, sorry. Spirit, obviously. Draw a card. I will uptick. Uh, are you paying for tithe? No. Whenever a player sacrifices a permit, by the way. Sure. I'll, I'll deal one to your face. So I'm going to tap this for three blue, we'll say. I'll use one of the blue to pungify. Oh <gasps> my gosh. I'll actually put the one damage on Shauna. I'm going to play Holy Avenger. And quick creature has double strike, and whenever quick creature deals combat damage, you may put an aura from my hand on the battlefield. Doesn't have to be combat damage to a player, just combat damage. 
I'm gonna pay two first and play out Arcane Signet, and then tap the four down for Bear Umbra to put on to Shauna. And then I will attack with Shauna for seven. You're attacking him or his, his uh, Blainswalker? Yeah, let's go, let's attack you, Julian. Doesn't have any protection from anything or anything, right? I can block no. Luris? No, nope. you can block with Luris. Luris will die and then I'll still get seven though. I'm gonna play six and play out a better win condition, Felidar <laughs> Sovereign. I'll pay two, draw two cards. I will also put two counters on to Felidar Sovereign. So it's a six, eight now, it's a little bit bigger. At that point, I have to say go. So I'm going to untap. So Shieldred, upkeep, I'll bring back care vectors. Okay, and then I will go to draw. First off, I am going to sack these treasures probably. So I go down to six and uh, I'm gonna ping your Felidar down. I'll add three black, three red, two white. A trigger to Shiro, cast Vampiric Tutor from a graveyard. I'll search my library for a card and put it on top. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go to combat and attack you Use with- Use Dilhalda first? Yeah, I will, that's fair. Yeah, I'll give Shieldred Indestructible Lifelink Vigilance. Swing, that's 12. I'm gonna gain six. I will pass. I will untap. I will go to upkeep and sacrifice my commander. Paying you for one. I will draw for turn to see if I can find something miraculous. Yep, pass, go. Untap, upkeep, bring back Luris. I, uh, draw for turn. I could do more flashy stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to swing in and kill you. I did search for Doomsday to put on top. We could have saw that outcome right fourth turn, really. I did not Cavern, expect man. him to just be out the entire game. That was Well, it was with your surprising. commander, making him indestructible. Made it right, really yeah. hard. And lifelink. All, you got all that life back. Like the two, Those two together are amazing. What a game. Karavek the Merciless really lived up to his title today. I have never seen a Karavek do so well. Uh, partially because it had indestructible, vigilance, lifelink, just shooting damage everywhere. That was amazing. It really controlled most of the game. And John was super scary right off the bat that we didn't even prepare for that Karavek. We also spent a little bit of time afterwards talking to each other, making sure that we you know, feel like we're all in the same power levels. It can be a little hard for us in our group because we play super jank, we play mid power, high power, CDH, we're playing decks across the spectrum and we want to make sure to be as close as we can when we do play together but sometimes it's not exactly on on target so we're going to keep the conversations alive make sure to be in touch with each other and you know share deck lists and things like that as best we can but um hopefully you know it's not too crazy for you guys and you enjoy those those games when when they come if you're enjoying our content and want to become part of the kingdom come join us over on patreon at patreon.com slash kingdoms tv speaking of which a big shout out to our samurai patrons chandler carlisle chris crowley jason garner john mcmanus jordan ritchie morton christensen revolution gaming and worthy glover you are all the pillars of kingdoms thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy